what's what's the goal for the season? The goal is to have a medal for the country in the World Cup, and I think that with the team, <laughs> we're going to get it. Yeah. With the speed she's going, that's not too impossible to happen. Of course, Shakari Richardson is a strong competition, but it appears like Mary Josie Talou has it all under control, which she should if she wants to reach the finish line first in Budapest. And, like I said, she has a chance to do it, but she will have to overtake both Sharika Jackson and Shakari Richardson to do it. You all know how much of a challenge that would be even without me telling you, but I'd tell you anyway. Both Sharika and Shikari, as can be expected, have expressed their intent to bring home the gold to their respective countries. But we all know only one of them would be able to do that. Mary Josie Talou, too, obviously wants the same thing. In light of that, let's take a look at her races to this day and try to guess if she has a strong chance of finishing first against Sharika and Shikari. Just a brief background, though. Fate has not been in her favor in the past years. In fact, Mary Josie Talou has often been unlucky on days when she needed to be perfect. At the 2016 Olympics, she missed the women's 100-meter medal stand by just seven thousandths of a second. Days later, she lost out on a medal by a single place yet again, finishing fourth in the 200 meters. Then, at the Tokyo Olympics, Talou headed into the women's 100-meter final with the third-fastest seed time. She even thought that she was in the best shape of her life. However, she dealt with stomach issues beginning in the semifinals, so she grunted and grimaced through the 100-meter final as runners pulled ahead of her. By the end of the race, she finished fourth, again. Although she did win a world medal twice, Mary Josie Talou is yet to hang around her neck the charm that everyone covets, gold. In 2017, a year after a very encouraging Olympic Games in Rio, she finished double runner-up in the 100-meter and 200-meter. She was on the podium again two years later in Doha, but this time in third place. Although Tulu has the eighth fastest time ever run by a woman over 100 meters with 10.72 seconds, she has no gold medals to show for it. So now she's more than ready and is more driven to finally get a gold. If she continues her hot streak this season, so to speak, she just might be able to do that. Get this. She is currently unbeaten in the 100 meters this season. She won 10 out of 10 meets, including four noticeable victories at the Diamond League circuit, Florence, Oslo, Lausanne, and London. If she comes to Budapest and runs as fast as she did at those races, she could have a chance of becoming the first African woman to win the 100 meter or 200 meters at the World Championships. In early June, Mary Josie Talou owned the women's 100 meters at the Golden Gala Diamond League meeting in Florence. There, Mary Josie Talou made a typically fast start and stayed clear to win in 10.79. At the moment, beginning the to ease away from the rest. Is there anybody coming back? They're looking Kemba Strong through the second half. He's going to take second over in lane one. A good third place there, I think, from Imani Lanzico. But Talou there. Well. 10.97. The most important thing was the win, and I got it. This season, my main goal is to win every time I stand on the track. I am focused, and I want to show what I've learned in my training. I try to take every race as a journey to become the best, she said after the race. Then, in the fifth stage of the Diamond League, Mary Josie Talou clocked the fastest time of the year at 10.75 seconds, at least at the time. With that, she now holds the three best African 100-meter performances in history. So did Sharika Jackson's Talu leading this one. I don't think they're going to catch her. She goes away and Strong takes second, 10.75. Talu led from the start and was uncatchable through the finish line, inspiring Anthonique Strachan to a huge personal best PB of 10.92 seconds, while Sharika Jackson came third in 10.98 seconds. What's more, it was with that win that she broke the 37-year-old meet record in the women's 100 meters at Diamond League Oslo, where she notably took down a field that included Jamaican sprint star Sharika Jackson. Then, at the next Diamond League stop in Switzerland, she ran a fast time of 10.88 seconds to win the 100 meters at the 2023 Lausanne Diamond League. Talou got off to a fast start, building an early advantage over the field before sprinting across the finish line in an impressive time of 10.88 seconds despite the chilly conditions. She always After does, and Svoboda's right up there, but here comes Talou. Talou now forges ahead, Nita's going to take second. Talou wins in 10.87. After the race, she told reporters, 
I was happy with my race, but not really with my time. I will have to work as usual with my coach. Prepared for her next race, she did, and it showed in London. Mary Josie Tolu not only won, but also set a new meeting record at the London Diamond League, breaking the previous record held by Jamaican sprinter Shelley Ann Fraser Price. Tolu clocked a time of 10.75 seconds plus 1.2 milliseconds in the 100 meters race, equaling her season's best in lowering the new meeting record by 0.02 seconds. For context, Fraser Price set the previous record of 10.77 seconds on July 27, 2013. Yes, you heard that right. She outran Sharika Jackson, the fastest in the 100 meters this year. In fact, the race saw British sprinter Dinah Asher Smith finishing second with a season best time of 10.85 seconds, while Jamaican Sharika Jackson finished third with a time of 10.94 seconds. It is worth noting, however, that U.S. champion Shikari Richardson, who has beaten Jackson twice already this year, withdrew from the race after suffering a minor injury during her warm-up. Richardson currently holds fifth place in the Diamond League qualifier standings with 16 points. Richardson, much like Tolu, had been unbeaten eight times in the 100-meter season. Well, at least until St. Lucia's Julian Alfred robbed her of that honor at the Gulai Istvan Memorial in mid-July. And, like Tolu, Shikari had beaten Sharika Jackson twice this season, first in Doha. There, Shikari streaked to a 100-meter victory in the first Diamond League meeting of the season, setting a meet record with a time of 10.76 seconds. Yeah, Richardson, here comes Richardson. It's going to be tight. Richardson's going to get it. New meeting record, 10.77. The wind is legal. I said watch out for her. In addition to her win, it was even more remarkable when she beat Sharika Jackson, who clocked at 10.85 seconds. 10.76, and Tori Bowie's meeting record has gone to the teammate Shikari Richardson. The two competed against each other again at the 2023 Silesia Diamond League in Poland. There, the audience saw the two fastest women of 2023 meet in the 100 meters, and it was Shikari Richardson who came out on top. Although Jackson looked like she would prevail, as she took over from fast-starting home favorite Yua Swoboda at halfway, Richardson stuck to her game plan and held her form to finish strong, going in front just meters from the line to triumph in 10.76. Sharika Jackson in the middle, trying to stretch away from Richardson. Richardson digging deep. Richardson coming good in the closing stages. And that is a big win from Shakari Richardson. Overall, those three names, Sharika Jackson, Shakari Richardson, and Mary Josie Talou, will definitely be called after the race in Budapest, although we don't know in what order they will be called. In the athletes list for the world championships, Sharika Jackson is first on the list in the women's 100 meters, with a personal best of 10.65, which is also her season's best. Without question, she ranks first in the world ranking. Mary Josie Talou, who is second in the world ranking, is third on the list with a personal best of 10.72 and a season's best of 10.75. She's behind Shakari Richardson on the list, who is only fourth in the world ranking, but was second on the list because of her season's best of 10.71, which is also her personal best, by the way, which is 0.04 seconds faster than Toulouse's season's best. All that said, the women's 100 meter is something you should definitely watch out for. Like them, Wade Van Niekerk is worth watching out for at the Worlds, too. Watch this to find out why.